Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we're back with Let's Play Resident Evil 2, and today I'm bringing you part two of Let's Play Resident Evil 2 with Leon. So what we're going to do is get right back into it. Um, if you remember where we left off yesterday, I was hurt whenever we left, so that's never a good thing. Um, let, me, uh, let me just uh, go back to what I said before yesterday. Um, I am playing this game on an emulator, so I can quick save and quick load whenever I want to, so it's not really anything for me to have to worry about, like with dying. Um, if you're not though, definitely use a typewriter. Um, you definitely want to use a typewriter in this game. If you're not uh, if you're not playing it on an emulator like I am, where you can use that ability. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Remember, we got the key card, had the doors unlocked, so let's go in here. Despite what I really would like to do, I'm not really uh, wanting to go in here because I know what's in here, but that's okay. Just a deal. Okay, police man room. And you can, you guys can read these if you want to. I mean, it's not really too god awful important. I mean, yeah, you want you want that because I mean everything's filed. So I mean, you want that you want that safe code. So he's like, everything's been filed. Uh, you got a health spray in here. You really don't need the knife. I don't need the ink ribbon. It just takes up space. Got plenty of first aid sprays though. Uh, unfortunately, I may end up having to use one of those really quick. And we're back to normal. Lock and load. Better go ahead and put this on. Because I know what's about to happen. And you got this little prick coming through the door right here. So what we're going to do is go in here and get ready to deal with this liquor. And whenever you come across one of these things, do not try to kill it with your pistol. Be sure you're using the... Oh, calm down, Leon. Be sure you're using the shotgun. And if you go over this guy's body, it'll say the head is missing, seems to have been twisted off, blah, 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 that whole deal. Bend down. Check him again. He's got handgun bullets. So, you're going to notice the blood dripping right here. You cannot go in this door yet. Uh, you need a spade key for it. So come over here. And this happens. I bet you money I'm going to get hit. You watch, I'm going to get hit. I always screw this up whenever I do it. I will really get hit. I don't know why. First shot. For some reason, I always miss, but I will be hit. See? That first shot doesn't really... doesn't really take into effect on him very much, but... I knew that was going to happen every time. Alright. So we're gonna continue down this hallway. Need to get up to the office, I guess is what you would call it. Stay away from these windows too, by the way. They I don't know if it'll do it yet or not. I don't think it will, but arms and hands will reach out and try to grab you from there. So just avoid that as much as you possibly possibly can. So come in here, grab the file off the desk, operation report. Tells you what's going on, what happened, blah blah blah. It's not really anything to be concerned with. Like I said, everything gets filed when you pick it up, so if you want to go back and look at it, you can. I mean, more than likely, you don't really have to. Is there anything else in here? I know I gotta go through that door. I know I do, but I'm just double checking. You know, you might find ammo or something in here. I can never remember. It's been it's been a while since I played this, but that's okay. Alright. Here. Now there is ammo. There's bullets back here. All the way in the back. Why do I still have the shotgun equipped? You guys gotta let me know these things. Alright. Come over here to this painting. We'll take a look at it. Sacrifice to the hellfire. Hanging above a fireplace. You have a lighter. Put two and two together. And it does not equal fish in this case. It equals jewel. 
So you can grab that, because you're going to need it. And you keep it on you, because like I said, you will need it here shortly. So come back out in the hall. to the upstairs area. Like I said, try to stay away from those windows. I know I'm going to get hit by them playing on this gamepad controller. I know I will. I'm having a hard time with the controls. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. I was even... Oh my god. Really? Now she's going to grab me. shooting at. Okay. I know you're not dead. God, I do not like playing it with this gamepad controller. This thing is insanely hard to use. Just for... There you go. That way if you're hurt but you're not in danger, you're just in like, the orange or red caution, you can use it. That'll get you out of trouble. Okay. Um, I don't remember exactly how you get that key. Uh, let's see. Put it in the safe. Okay, I'm out of wide. I said you want to keep this on you. Can put that back for now. You are going to need it relatively shortly. But, like I said, it's, uh, you, you'll, be, you'll be coming back through here anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. Uh, you come in this room, you can get film developed in here. You do find rolls of film throughout the game. So, you can always come back in here and develop it. It's some different, like, screenshots of stuff that Umbrella's been doing very incriminating stuff so alright back out in the hallway now it looks like we're finally gonna get to go upstairs okay okay now this puzzle is very easy something is written on the mounting the god of sun and the god of moon, their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. They're facing complete opposite ways. A very simple puzzle. Do not push that too far. If you push it too far, you won't be able to get behind it. What you gotta do is push it like that. Come over here. And push it again. Boom. There's that one. Wash, rinse, repeat. Like I said, do not push that up too far, otherwise you'll have to go in the room and then in the room through that door right there and then come back through it and you'll have to do it all over again. It's just, just pointless. You do it right the first time. So there you go. And the jewel drops. And you come over here and over here. Over here. And pick it up. And reload. And then you come back this way. Go through this door. Uh. And then you deal with these two guys real quick. I did notice about this game that I've always kind of wondered, like, kind of why. Leon is the only one wearing, like, a really unique police uniform. Even out of a Will Smith looking guy. Very unique looking uniform. But. Just personal thought. Anyway, come in here.
birthday's party on the wall. Get it. And you can look around the desks if you want to. Uh, you gotta need to pick this file up because there is this is Chris's diary. Feel free to read it. Um, I don't really want to. And then you got this amulet which you need to use in the big fountain statue when you first walk in the police station. Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Okay. I'm over here. For sure there was bullets over here. I just swore there was. No, I guess not. Guys, let me know in the comment section if I missed anything. Um, I don't think I have. I know there is one trick you can do. Uh, wherever Wesker's desk is at. this is his or not. I've never done this before and I'm not going to do it now. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it's wherever Wesker's desk is at. Um, you can look through it. I can't it. believe what is happening to this city. Ah. You can look through the desk like you can search it. Like, uh, I think I think somebody said it was like 50 times and it'll you, know, you find a picture in his file or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And you open up this chair or that yeah, locker, excuse me, and get this other shotgun out. And then what you want to do from here is leave. And now you can go, since you have the amulet, you can go back downstairs and get ready to use it in the fountain. saying yesterday guys I'm really really excited for the remake of this game it is it's just it's super exciting for especially if you're a diehard Resident Evil fan like I am like I said I, I love the old school but do not like the new kind at all why did I come in this door um, but like I was saying yesterday you know it's gonna be made by an independent developer but that doesn't bother me because the remake of Half-Life when they made it in the Black Mesa, which is supposed to be available on Steam here relatively shortly. Diamond Key. It's going to be on Steam relatively shortly this year. Um, I played the, I guess you call it, non-finished product of it, and it was very, very good. So, I'm really looking forward to see what, uh, yeah, there you go. You can shoot at him if you want to, it's kind of, I don't like to waste your ammo, but... Holy shit, they didn't grab me. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the developer can do. Um, just after seeing how how good of a job they did with Half-Life, I'm not really too worried about it. I've seen videos on it, and it looks really good. Uh, the way they're doing it is you can have, you can pick the camera angle. You can go with classic camera angles like this game has, or you can go with the older shoulder view like um, Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 have. I, well, I can't say six because I've never played it. Um, but anyway, like I said, you'll come out through these doors and you're going to come over to this fountain. And go over here to this. Now it says precinct key. 
this always just annoys me. Just look at, take a look at the key, click on it, don't hit combine, you can't combine a key with anything except a lock. Hit check, and it'll show it's in the shape of a spade, and then it'll turn out, it'll show you it's the spade key. Like I said, the, when it says the precinct key, that just, I don't know why, that just really gets on my nerves for some reason. So now, come this way. I was supposed to go through here just yet. Wait a minute, did I get the other shotgun? I did. Why am I worried about it then? Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm used to being able to just obliterate that huge group of zombies. Completely forgot I had that other shotgun. Okay. What you got? When they blow in half like that, that's a bad sign, because usually they're going to start crawling just like that guy is right there. He's going to try to crawl over to me. Without pistol, go with him real quick. I should only do one left, so just finish him off with a pistol. No sense in wasting a shotgun. You don't have to. Just do the double tap. Just to make sure all of them are dead. There is a herb over here. And you can't carry any more items. Of course not. Why could you? That's what I was needing to do. Okay. Now I may be taking the long way. I don't know for sure. But anyway, what I do is I always come back through here. I say I know this game like the back of my hand, and I do. But on the flip side of that, I've always played this game a certain way. So I may be doing the things the wrong way or the long way, but this is just my way of doing it. Come up here, put that back, put the first aid spray in here. I was like keeping everything organized. Okay, and you should be good to go. It's always good to have at least one herb on you, just in case you get a getting a jam like I did a little bit ago when I first started playing this. Still can't believe I got hurt at the very beginning of it, but it's okay. So anyway, we're going to come in through here. Move down this hallway. And I plan on doing a lot more videos like this, guys. Uh, just, whoa. No! Why can I not keep from getting hurt? Alright, there we go. I plan on doing a lot more videos like this. Oh my god. Um, I like doing a lot of uh, old school throwbacks things with, um, you know, if, you're, if you follow me on full screen, which I am a partner of now, then um, you'll know that I enjoy Damn it, Diamond Key. You'll know that I enjoy um, like going back and just playing like classic games that you know they, they really bring back like things of how they were whenever you were a kid. You know, I absolutely love playing this game. I love playing uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That was another good one. Um, you definitely want to take this key. You get more than one, uh, but you definitely want to take it. It's a uh, small key that fits in the desk, so you can get your handgun parts. So you'll come out here. And I'm pretty sure this door right here opens with a spade key. What? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, you can get this red herb if you want to. Um, I mean, not really too big of an importance. I mean, yeah, it, it boosts your, like, it boosts the health of the one you already have. Like, if you have this right here, I mean, you can combine the two of them. It doesn't really. I mean, it just makes it basically, it's like extra strength Tylenol. But anyway, let's come back out here. And like I was saying, you know, I really enjoy playing, you know, old school games. Um, going back and just reliving a lot of those moments from whenever I was a kid. 
Is it, what the hell? Did I not pick that up already? Oh, no, 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 I couldn't carry any more items. Okay. Uh, I just really like going back and reliving all those moments. Um, I'm sure a lot of us do. That's why they, that's why whoever came up with emulators is an absolute genius. But anyway, you come in here, you're gonna have to deal with these guys. I just feel like I'm doing this all wrong right now. Like, completely wrong. I guess it's a good thing I did do that. No! I swear this gamepad is going to get me killed. Look at that, I tried to combine bullets with a wire. That's not what I meant to do at all. Okay, and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna see this guy. You can see him looking around too, look. A zombie that knows how to play dead. And pop him a few good times. And that's all there is to that. Now, come over here and check behind the desk. Check back here twice. Because there is two herbs back here. So, take one. No. Combine it. And you come over here. Now, what you want to do, if you remember, we got the file before. Check out the rookie files. Where is it? No, that's not it. Police command room. There it is. 2236. That's what we needed. No. Shut up. Okay. 2236. And boom. There we go. Got some shotgun shells and a police station map. I don't really hardly ever look at the map. Probably should. Okay. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video, but uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below, slap a like on the video, and be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you.